A rapper from Conway was in jail last night, arrested on federal drug and weapons charges. Hey, what's up? This your boy, Big Man. You already know what it is, man. So let's get right to it. Bankroll Freddy, along with a long list of rappers, have had a tough year when it comes to the legal system. I don't know if we should call this the year of drill or we should call this the year of Rico's or conspiracy cases, but it looks like Bankroll Freddy just got caught up in the latter, meaning he just caught a conspiracy case and a 61 page indictment was just issued on behalf of a judge in the state of Arkansas. It's looking like Bankroll Freddy is gonna be looking at fed time if found guilty. Bankroll Freddy is originally from the Little Rock, Arkansas area, a place called Helena. Now, Bankroll Freddy is one of the key rappers on the QC team. Now, QC means quality control, and that's Coach K and P. They've got a list of rappers that included the Migos, and they also include Lil Baby, and at one time included Cardi B. But now, it seems like their roster keeps taking hits after hits. Now, first you had the situation with Takeoff, where he lost his life, rest in peace. Now you have this situation where Bankroll Freddy, one of the illest rappers on their team, is gonna be going down possibly for some fed time and some fed charges. Now, before we get to the specifics and talk about all the details, do me a favor, make sure you hit that like button, make sure you hit that subscribe button, and man, let's get it. Now, as the details in the 61 page indictment come out, one thing's for sure, Bankroll Freddy's problems didn't start today. They didn't start this week, they started back in April when he originally got arrested. But even before that, there were rumors that Bankroll Freddy had got shot in his hometown during a concert. So let's actually look at a news clip of what happened back then, or at least the news clip that they're saying is associated with that shooting. Replacing and repairing phone lines damaged by gunfire last night. Police say that someone opened fire in this lot behind me, killing one person and injuring three others. Ten hours after a shooting in the parking lot of the Helena Barber and Beauty Shop, emotions were still running high. <laughs> Family members of the victims didn't want to talk on camera, neither did anyone hear what had happened. But they did tell us the shots came from the top of this hill across the street. This is a picture taken by police. You can see dozens of evidence markers, likely shell casings. One of those bullets hit this cable and knocked out some phone lines. Police say a witness told them a rapper was performing here Sunday night, but the man who owns the business told us it was a 4th of July gathering. One man shot here died in the hospital and another is in critical condition at the regional medical center. Now it was never 100% confirmed that Bankroll Freddy had anything to do with that shooting or is involved in any way. But shortly around the same time, he had went to social media to showcase where he had got shot in the chin and show everybody that he was doing all right. But these legal troubles that he has didn't start then. They actually started back in April of this year. Now in April of this year, a report came out that Bankroll Freddy had been arrested. And at first it was for a resisting arrest and then to come to find out during the arrest, there were drugs and other things as such as a machine gun that was allegedly found. Now let's actually look at their charges at the time of Bankroll Freddy's arrest. Now these are the charges that Bankroll Freddy received back in April when he was originally arrested. You can see the very first charge was resisting arrest. Then the next charge was simultaneous possession of drugs and firearms. Now also listed in the indictment that we're gonna to get to in a second, it was said that one of the firearms was a machine gun. Now we know that machine guns are outlawed in most states, if not all, and they carry a heavy sentence with them. But on top of that, the drugs and the guns were together, which is a big no-no. So he had all these different controlled substances and on top of that, he had the speed infractions, but I bet you that's the least of his worries at this time. Now let's actually look at the news story from the time he got arrested back in April. A rapper from Conway was in jail last night, arrested on federal drug and weapons charges. 27 year old Bankroll Freddie or Freddie Gladney was arrested during a traffic stop Thursday in Marion. During a search of his truck, police found a gun, 21 pounds of marijuana and 171 grams of prescription sedative. Freddie was booked into the Crittenden County Detention Center on state drug and weapons charges and held for FBI on equivalent federal charges. Now, even then you heard that he was held by the FBI 
on equivalent federal charges. So it looked like this was always going to be hanging over bankroll Freddie's head. So he was probably trying to get to the money and enjoy it as much as possible until the indictment came down. I doubt there's any way they didn't see this indictment coming, but it's here and it looks like it was signed off this month. And prior to this indictment coming down, Bankroll Freddy was already placed on strict restrictions by a judge, where he had to get signed off on each of his movements anytime he made an appearance and pretty much put the hamper on him for when this indictment came down. And it seems like today might be that day. Now, according to news sources, there were 70 people that were rounded up in this large scale drug investigation. Now, only half of those people might be involved directly with Bankroll Freddy. Now, according to news sources out there, there's a 61 page indictment that came down and that was signed by a judge and issued by a state's attorney on the 1st of November. Now, in this clip from a document in the case file, you can see that this includes the events that took place on April 14th, 2022. That's when Bankroll Freddy was originally arrested. And that's now being included in a larger drug conspiracy case that occurred between March 2021 through and about October 2022. So they've been watching Bankroll Freddy and them for about two years. Now this is a wild situation that Bankroll Freddy's had to go through ever since he got into the rap game because this is obviously going to include some of the things that he wasn't thinking about or maybe even the shooting incident that was rumored about earlier. According to TMZ, Freddy and his East AR crew conspired to sell massive amounts of drugs between that time frame. Freddy is also facing weapons charges for allegedly possessing multiple firearms in furtherance of a drug trafficking crime. So that could only add more time if he's found guilty. Bankroll Freddy, he looked like he was gonna be up and everything will be all right. But when you first get locked up and the feds are involved, this thing never goes away. We've seen it many a time with many a rapper. Look at Casanova two times. Look at Young Thug. Look at the O Block situation. And one thing's for sure, when it's these large scale indictments, this system or this situation tends to get dragged out, bleeding the rapper of his money, his fame, and a lot of his time. Now, Bankroll Freddy, I'm not sure if he's gonna get bond, but usually when it's these conspiracy charges or these large scale drug trafficking charges, bond isn't even an option, especially if you're considered to be one of the people at top. But we'll see how this works out for Bankroll Freddy in the future. Will QC be able to come in and save him somehow or provide him any type of support? because we've seen record labels haven't been able to do that in the past and I doubt they'll be able to do it in the future. While you're making money, it's all good. While you're dropping hit records with Lil Baby, it's all good. While you're rocking shows and putting money in their pockets, it's all good. But when you get locked up from living those raps that you rap about and you have to face a federal indictment on your own money and have to put your own neck out there, it seems like the rapper goes through that whole thing by themselves. Now I'm not here blaming the rap labels because they don't tell rappers what to do. They just benefit off the product that the rapper puts out, meaning their raps and the lifestyle that they live sometimes contribute to that. But in the long scale, what is gonna be the resolution for this? Because we can't have a system where rappers are either going to jail or rappers are either getting killed. It just doesn't work for the hip hop fans in the end because a lot of these guys have potential and some of them never see their peak. Bankroll Freddy is still on the come up as far as the mainstream artist is concerned, and he probably has more to give the rap game. But if anything is true that we've seen in the past, this Fed case is really gonna put a hamper on all that. But y'all tell me what y'all think in the comments. Do y'all think that Bankroll Freddy can fight this and maybe beat this, or do you think he's washed and it's all over? Now with that, this has been your boy Big Man, do me a favor. Make sure you hit that like button, make sure you hit that subscribe button, and make sure you hit that notification bell so that way you get notified every time I drop one of these updates. And we out of here. Peace.